For some people, sex make their bond stronger. Most people find sex important in a relationship and it can increase you and your partner's overall satisfaction. Now, is sex important in a relationship? There is no one size fits all answer to this. Everyone is different and what is important for some may not be at all important for others. I feel it ultimately depends on your beliefs, physical desires, and probably the nature of your relationship. Some people even say you can't get intimate with your partner without sex. But you would agree with me that intimacy goes beyond sexual intercourse. What do I mean by this? Intimacy is about closeness, about being together, and about keeping and maintaining a relationship. Today, I have an amazing guest in the studio with me. Trust me when I say this episode is about to be fun. You have no idea. So guys, I have here with me Toby J. Toby J is a food blogger and is also a radio presenter. Welcome to my show. Thank you. I'm so excited to have you. <laughs> so you guys, Toby J is going to be sharing his um, opinion with us on the topic sex in relationships. So Toby, I'll throw questions at you. I have a few questions for you. Okay. I'm going to throw them at you and I want you to give us your genuine take on them. Shall we? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh -huh. um, so as far as I'm concerned, sex isn't a necessity per se in a relationship. Um, do you think a relationship can survive without sex? Oh, sure. Okay. A relationship can survive without sex. But personally, I feel um, sex isn't such a big necessity. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I feel you need it to spice it up. And like I said, personally, I feel you could survive without having sex all the time. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Definitely. Yeah, so it's not a necessity to me. Okay, so in a romantic relationship, yeah, there should be the existence of things like love, trust, respect, dependability, accountability, and other nice traits people crave in partners. Mm -hmm. Now, if these things aren't present, I feel you guys are just sex partners, and I just a knack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. Una, just a knack. Basically, literally. So, what do you feel, Toby? So, uh, I feel I don't I don't believe in your own take saying if there's no trust, if there's not this one, a relationship cannot work. A relationship can still work, but the without trust, the things I mentioned, um, the things need to be present there a bit, not hundred percent or not ninety nine. Once it's there, you could still convince your partner. Okay, he's a nice guy. Let me give him a um, few time to be himself or something. So at the end of the day, it could still work. If it doesn't work for Mr. A, it doesn't mean it won't work for Mr. B. So... I, I Sorry, sorry to no. um, interrupt you. Okay. But my question was, without these things being there at all? At all. Yes. So that's, that's at it. At all. If these things aren't present at all, you guys are just sex partners, truth be told. <laughs> yes. If those things are not there at all, Mm -hmm. I feel you guys are just playing around. You're just playing. So stop there's, playing. There's nothing serious in it. Stop playing. So you should stop playing and at least build that trust, build that exactly. belief and let the loyalty come in. Because there's such a variety in our feelings about sex, we sometimes become judgmental. I mean, there is this look you get when you preach abstinence. I am talking virginity shit. People kind of make it look weird and I think it is very, very bad. What's your take, please? Mm, okay. Um, one thing about me is I don't judge, I don't discriminate. So, I believe once you're above 18, okay. you have the right to do what you want to do regarding sex. The society you find yourself mostly define uh, your outcome. So, Definitely. There, there are some places you'll be and talking about different things, feel free to talk about it. Oh, I'm still a virgin. This one, uh, this one, I'm not a virgin. Ah, uh, bad guy, bad girl, all this kind. Mm. So the society you find yourself plays a big part in that Definitely. question. So I feel um, you shouldn't feel bad talking about it if you're, if you're a virgin or not. So <laughs> if you're not a virgin, nobody is beating you. It's still fine. It's yeah. fine. So uh, I, I don't see anything wrong in being a virgin. But that's my own take. I don't know the people out there listening or watching. So personally, I don't say anything bad in that. Okay, okay. And one thing I'd like to add to what Toby said is 
you know what works for you. Just know what works for you and do what works for you. If you're going to go into a relationship, go into a relationship with someone that is on the same page with you. Because sometimes we have this issue because you are A is D and you guys are trying to work it out. If it's not working, end it. That's my take. Yeah. And one thing I would like to tell people out there is um, you are a diamond, you know your worth. So mm. don't let anyone treat you like a nice stone or treat you like one thing like that. Exactly. So always value yourself. The yeah. way you present yourself, that's how people, people will accept, accept you. you. Definitely. So just be yourself and value yourself. Mm -hmm. that's it. Wouldn't it be disastrous if a sexually active person gets into a relationship with someone who isn't sexually active? Do you think it's going to work? Being sexually active, you want sex all, like almost all the time, not all the time. Mm. And your partner on the other end is the person that doesn't want sex all the time. So in the process, there will be fights coming in, the trust might be falling off because you might just sit down and think, ah, maybe he's with one bubble, maybe she's with one girl. Uh, maybe he's with one girl and she's with one bubble also. So I think it's going to be a very difficult one to work. Very difficult. It's going to be very difficult. Very difficult. Yeah, so it's a 50-50 kind of thing. Yeah, I kind of feel so too because, like I said earlier, just be with someone you are on the same page with. Yeah, that's just it. Sexually active people should go for sexually active people. People that are not sexually active, look for someone who isn't sexually active and just yeah. ride with them. That's what I feel. If you truly believe it would work and you feel this one is sexually, is sexually active and this one isn't, there are some things, you, if you believe it's going to work, you truly love this person, you could actually adjust to their own kind of belief or something. And things could work. It's not completely you accept all what they want, but there are some things you could do to make it work. Sacrifices. I don't believe, yeah, I don't believe it's all going to break down and all. No, I never believe that. So if you believe me, I've always believed in love, so I feel this can work and it might not work. Not It's not working completely. Completely, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's under probability. Yes. It might work and it might not work. Anyone? So lastly, I know you've um, you're an adult now, mm -hmm. and you've definitely grown to be a better person. Oh, yeah. What advice would you give mm -hmm. your younger self? Oh, my younger self. All those bad, bad things you've been doing. <laughs> Did I really do bad things? Um, okay, because I know whatever bad thing I could have done is definitely after I was 18. Okay. So I never did anything below 18. So, um, the advice I'll give to my younger self is Okay, Oluwa Tobijima, know what you're doing, mm -hmm. know what is best for you, make your family proud because uh -huh. there are lots of people looking out to you out there. Uh -huh. So, um, don't disappoint and always be a good person that you've always been. What do you have to say to my audience? You don't have to satisfy everybody. Mm -hmm. You do not have to sacrifice Definitely. everybody. Because I've been in that show before and I can remember how it felt. So just be yourself and be good. It is game time, you guys. So the game is called Know Your Host. I am your host, right? Oh, yeah. So you get to know me by asking me two questions. Mm. Shall we? Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what do you do for fun? For fun, I listen to music. Mm. I can't I can't do without music. Music is like my life. Now what kind of music? Nigerian music or the Western music? Both. Okay. okay. I listen to both. Mm. Yeah, that's good. So yeah. what other question? Because you've been speaking about your own opinion since so okay. I feel you've spoken all I needed to know about the topic. Alright. Um okay, personally, what's your own advice to your younger self? Oh to my younger self. I would tell you to, you know, just keep doing your shit, keep going, keep going. And I would tell you to stop expecting too much from people. Mm. Stop expecting because I, I, I've, I've been in that um, situation before. I expected a lot from people and then it didn't turn out to be what I wanted from them. Mm. So to my younger self, I would tell you to, you know, Stop expecting too much from people. Just do you, be you, 
and always believe in God. The only person you have a business with. Of course, I know we need humans to kind of fulfill our dreams, to kind of get to where we are going to. But the ultimate person you need, the most important being you need in your life is God. And anything you are facing, anything you are going through, just tell it to God. Just tell it to, he listens. Just tell it to God and man, it's going to help you with every damn thing. So to my younger self, I will tell you to, you know, embrace this journey because you're about to change a lot of things in this world and the world is waiting for you. You have no idea. The world is waiting for you and you're going to do exploits. Thank you. Mm, that's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> so you said two questions, so I asked you. Yeah, you guys, you can connect with Toby on IG at C O B I then underscore J then underscore again. Also, Toby is a radio presenter, so we are kind of, you know, he's my party. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on my show, Toby. You're I'm welcome. so excited to have you. And that brings us to the end of the show, guys. I am so excited to be here, and I am sure that y'all had fun on this episode. Um, please do not forget to give us your take as it is very, very necessary that you share your perspective with us. That is the essence of this show, guys. Let us have your take in the comment section. Tell us what you feel about this topic. And thank you so much for um, your support so far. I'm really, 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 really grateful to y'all. Thank you for rooting for me. Thank you for supporting this little girl. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Spread the word about your take. Until next time, I love you guys. Be well and have a good day.